Today I want to show you how to do a backup in Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Release 2. What you're going to do is launch your SQL Server Management Studio and then you'll need to log in. And it's best if you log in using your SA password. And I'll click Connect. And you can see it looks very similar to GP and Outlook where we have a navigation panel down the left side. And to do a backup, um, this is going to be a manual backup, not setting the maintenance uh, to run backups on a regular basis. What you're going to do is click on the plus sign to open up the object for databases. And then you should see your Dynamics database and any of your company databases. Now your Dynamics database stores all of your system information, including users and what those users have access to, along with security, the list of all your companies and what version you're on and so forth. So we're going to want to make sure we back up the Dynamics database as well. The easiest way to back it up is if you right mouse click on Dynamics or on the database, you'll see a list appear and we're going to choose the list called Task. And under the list called Task, we see an option for backup. So we'll click on that and then you're going to get your backup window. The easiest way to do a backup is to just do a backup to the disk directly and if one exists already out here, you can automatically leave that out here and just append to it. And that'll be the easiest way to make sure you have good backups. You could also remove that and then click on Add and Add to a new backup. And I'll do that now. So I'm going to remove that and click on Add. And this going to ask you where you want the backup location to go. And I'm just going to select the default for now. And I'll click in the backup folder and then tell it a name that I want to back up. We'll call it just Dynamics. And I'll click OK. OK again. And now here's the path and the folder name and I click OK and it begins the backup for me. And it's a pretty quick process. And those are the minimums that you need to do to back up. Now that file is out there that could be restored and uh, if we need it and it's a good safe way to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to back up directly in Microsoft Dynamics GP. So you need to be logged in on the server. Then we'll click Microsoft Dynamics GP on the top and you should be logged in as SA as well into GP. We're going to choose maintenance from our drop down list and backup. It'll ask us which company name we want to back up to and again we see the option for system database. That is the dynamics database that we backed up earlier in SQL Server. It then prompts us for selecting the file and that includes the path so I'll leave that as a default and you can see here in GP it automatically puts a date on the end of it and that's extremely helpful and click on save and OK and the backup occurs. Now if you're not familiar with SQL Server this is the easiest way to back up but remember you do need to be on the server itself and you need, do need to be logged into GP as SA. But this is a great way to do a backup quickly before you do some processes such as year in close, um, any kind of serious posting process, or any other kind of maintenance you need to do on your database. Hope this helps. Thanks.